And so now celebrity chef Eric Adams is going to join celebrity chef Daisy. Awesome. Like and you I, said, and who's got the cutest sous chef? <laughs> and I like how, you know, because I think Chef Daisy raised a good point about, you know, using onions and, you know, a salad does not have to be this boring thing. Um, you could put uh, dates, onions, um, pears, whatever fruit you enjoy, you know, you could just really mix it up, there's, you know? There's nothing you can't put in a salad. You mm. can put oranges, red onion, black olives, that in itself. You could put fennel, endive, radishes. There's nothing you can put. I make a salad with melon balls, watermelon, honeydew, and cantaloupe with a little bocconcini of mozzarella. A little olive oil, a little champagne vinegar, a little chopped mint, you'd swear you were in heaven. <laughs> Love you know it. when it's a hot day and we're looking for something to refresh ourselves, right? I don't know how refreshing this gazpacho is going to be because it's been out for a while. <laughs> but so this cool. is a great, you know what it is? It's salad in a blender. Mm. I mean, this is like so nutritious. I love to serve it in martini glasses, mm -hmm. and I'll serve like a grilled shrimp if, it, if there's company coming. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you the truth, BP, um, I keep a picture of this in my refrigerator all summer nice, long. Nice, you know when nice. tomatoes like are at their best like they are right now? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you. I well, that's, a, that's a good point you raised. Oftentimes we think about a salad, we think this is a formal setting because, you know, I have a, um, a neutral bullet. And That's a good thing. Right, We right. love the Nutribella. So, because you, you can drink a salad. You don't only have to eat a salad. You can throw these item, items into your, you know, whatever device you want, Vitamix, Nutribella, the blender. Absolutely. You throw, you know, I throw um, kale, carrots, and um, collards, and, and you drink it. And, and I use coconut water. Which, what, what could be bad? Which is, bad, which is excellent for you. And especially after we found out yesterday that there's practically no almonds in almond milk. We we're upset about that, right, BP? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's only 2% almond milk wow. in almond, in almond wow. milk. I was like, wow. well, yeah, well, excellent. coconut milk, thankfully, and coconut water, it's all good. Right. So we're going to stick to that. So gazpacho, the traditional gazpacho, we're going to start out with some tomatoes. And what we did with these tomatoes was we blanched them in boiling water for 60 seconds just to get the tough peel off. Mm. And then we cut them in half and scoop the goop. All the seeds and all that gloppy stuff, you're gonna go ahead and put those tomatoes okay. in there because I'm gonna make you work for your, for your uh. final. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead, just pick it up and just pour it in. Throw so it we have in. about, a, yeah, we have about a, a pound of, uh, of tomatoes and those are rum, uh, Roma plum tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And then I have some chopped white onion. Okay, go ahead. Or. Go ahead, we're having a party. <laughs> I have a couple of cloves of garlic. I feel, I feel like Al Roker. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good friend and a hell of a cook, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we have now tomatoes, onions, wow. and garlic. Um, we have fire roasted. Now, I can't see roasted peppers without thinking of my grandmother's house on Sunday afternoons because mm. she would make stuffed roast peppers for my dad. I have beautiful, look at this, yellow and red roasted peppers right on the stove. And then you put them in a paper bag, and the skin comes right off. Mm. So go ahead and let's put some of those in there. All or so. Come on. <laughs> Get crazy. Okay, and we're going to hit this and break it down now. Now, so now what's, what's interesting before you blend it, what's, what is interesting is that all of these ingredients are really healthy for you. Onions, uh, the peppers, the tomatoes. tomatoes. The, the raw tomatoes, the right. lycopenes and tomatoes are anti cancer fighting. I mean, it's, it's like great stuff. There's nothing in here that's bad for you. And it's all fresh. Let's hit it. You should have bought your Nutribullet. <laughs> Do we need any... Um... There it goes. There yeah. it goes. There we go. That's interesting. You don't need any water in yours. Not you? yet. We're okay. going gonna to add some tomato juice to give it a little color and make it thinner. What type of blender is this? This is your, your regular, uh, uh, it's a Breville, which okay. is actually a very good blender. Mm -hmm. um, I like Breville. They don't give me a Don BP, so I'm just saying this is what I <laughs> right. use in my house. Um, cucumber, the hot house English cucumbers. Mm -hmm. And we've gone, ahead, we've gone ahead and taken the seeds out. Okay. Are we cooking with gas yet or what? We're moving. We're rocking and rolling. <laughs> okay, let's hit that. It's a good blender. It's a very good blender. I have the Breville panini maker and the Breville juicer. Again, I don't get a, I don't get a dime from them, so right. I'm not pimping them. They're, I just what I use in my house. Okay, so we have most of the stuff broken down now. And we added garlic. Garlic is a great antioxidant. Absolutely. You know, back in the day, 
they used to chew garlic cloves for, to like um, to combat parasites and such like that. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. What is this? Wait, this wait, is dry cumin. Again, dry, dry spices. If you could cumin, also very good. And smell that. I mean, it smells like heaven. Mm. We're going to give some black pepper. And again, um, you, these, these are my recipes. I want you to make them your recipes. And, Feel and that's free. the key. That's the key. The, the key is creativity. Absolutely. You know, I, I'll sit in the kitchen and just mix up a different thing until I find the right flavor that I like. Cilantro. Wow, wow. What smells more green than cilantro? Yes. Again, now you, you don't have to use cilantro. If you don't like, there are people that can't process the taste of cilantro. It uh -huh. tastes like soap to them. Mm -hmm. But parsley works. Basil works. Mint works. Again, mm -hmm. play with your food. So I'm go now that I added the cilantro, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add about two cups of tomato juice. Now, this is, how is this tomato juice made? Um, you can make your own or you can get in the organic store. You mm -hmm. can get like good tomato juice. Okay. And I'm going to add a little So now, now, now that's important. Tomato juice is not um, B8. No, 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 no. Oh, I am glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up. You right. know, I have, may she rest in peace. I had an aunt whose, whose husband, my uncle, was a diabetic. Mm -hmm. And the doctor would tell her, you have to feed him fruit. So she would go and get juice nectars, like cans of juice nectar. And I was like, oi, Thea, you can't do that. <laughs> that stuff is like full of sugar. Give him a piece of fruit. Give him an orange. I'm going to add a little bit of um, olive oil for fruitiness. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you know that olive oil is very healthy. Yes, it's heart yes. healthy. It's also very flavorful. This is another thing that you can play with, uh, especially now that you have herbs. Everybody has that little window box of herbs. Mm -hmm. I know are, you are do. Are there any tricks in olive oil? Uh, you you know, want to keep it away from heat. Uh -huh. You want to keep it in a nice dark place away from heat. So if some people keep their olive oil on the stove. Don't do that. Keep it in a cabinet where the sun isn't hitting it, where it's not hot. And remember we talked about acid? I have some sherry vinegar. Now, I'm the vinegar girl. People give me olive oils and vinegars for my birthday and for holidays. Mm. I got to tell you, I'm good with jewelry, too. Um, <laughs> but I get, uh, that's what I get. Okay, so now we're going to break it down. This is really interesting. So everything is broken down. Let's check it. Let's check it for consistency. Are we gonna? Are we gonna taste it? Yes. Oh yes! Because you know what? My grandmother used to say: if you come someplace and all you give people is conversation, they're gonna talk about you when you leave. So. Yes, you. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, okay, great, terrific. Yeah, right out of the cup. Awesome. But my first. We have to we have to let the the suit the suit chef taste right there we go and I'll put them here how are we gonna distribute these really really isn't that tasty are you missing any salt from there <laughs> well all of this is really cancer right. survivor Anything friendly this you know, is really cancer survivor friendly all of the lycopenes the onions the garlic all that stuff is really really could, great you could also. Um, put throw some ice crush up and oh, have it cold. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Well, I, I, ideally, you would have this in the refrigerator and serve it cold. Unfortunately, we picked the hottest day of the year to do this, or fortunately. But are you missing any salt no, in there? Maybe. BP? This no, you're not missing any salt, right? No, no, no. All of the flavors really come together, and it's satisfying, it's delicious, it's healthy. I mean, and you can make a batch of it and keep it in your refrigerator. It's I'll tell you. You could almost do a, this almost could be a soup. You could do this. This is Absolutely. I've, and I have served it as a soup. Uh, I throw a couple of croutons, or I, like I said, I'll grill a piece of shrimp uh -huh. and lay it on top as garnish, or even some avocado balls, like uh, just rinsed in lime juice. It's absolutely delicious. What do you think? Is it a keeper? Are you going to go home and make it? And, and healthy. The garlic, the celery. Tomato. But the great thing about that is, is that you don't, Olive oil. Yeah, you don't taste one thing. It's a right. really good combination, a, a great um, melding of all the flavors. And you don't, you, don't, you don't miss the salt, do not you? Not at all. <laughs> you, don't, you don't miss the salt. And if you do, add some more, add some more acid. Add some more of that yes. vinegar. Add some more pepper. I would love this with some jalapeno in it. This can be know? cold as a cold drink or it can be hot as a soup. Absolutely. You know, or, or, even, way. or even cold as a soup. You can right. serve it cold as a soup in the summer. I love it. But as I said, I keep a picture of it in my refrigerator. Love I it. sometimes love have it. a glass for breakfast. Love uh, with it. a poached egg, it's delicious. 
I start I start my morning with uh, a neutral bullet, and I have broccoli, kale, collards, that's blueberries. Hard. That's hardcore. Baby. That's <laughs> hardcore. You, just, but you throw it in a glass with some coconut. Um, water and you have a nice and, smoothie. And you have a nice smoothie. Yeah. You leave the day, you feel Charge refreshed. Charge all those e vitamins, right, like yeah. Right. Well, you it's know, busy work being a busy. That's what, you know. That's why they call it break fast. We shouldn't be breaking our fast overnight by eating, you know, eggs, three pancakes, and no, all no. this other stuff. You know, your body yeah. feels better. Yeah, absolutely. When you break it absolutely, absolutely. So, what do we think, guys? Yay! All Is right. Gonna make it. Give it up for Chef Daisy and for coming out today. Thank you. <laughs> I love it, you know. Now, is that recipe enough?